Hey, yo, it's me, Fruit Bad. Welcome to not my respite. How surprising, isn't it? Uh, so this is a small modded world that I have moved on from very recently. Uh, and I just wanted to do like a sort of a quick show off of it mainly for myself so I can view it later or something. Oh. Anyway, uh so this is this is modded of course. You can see the create pipes and the windmills. So I'll show you that last. Uh so this is my house. It's a village that we just moved into and then all the villagers died because we have because of one of the mods okay so this mod this is the Batman mod uh, and that means Batman's village villains spawn in villas vi damn that's a lot of V's Batman's villains spawn in villages and harass the villagers you know, that sort of thing. And all the villagers <laughs> died, so the Batman villain stopped showing up. So I, I have a f quite a few decorations in my house. Uh, this is the crown from King Lion. And then I've got my, my iron spells and spells book stuff. I, I was considering fighting the wither, but then something made me not <laughs> so we have the inventory pits as well which is very fun so if you saw me flying before it was with Mr. Matriarch which is the cloud pit which one of my favorites it's just really cool uh, so anyway that's my house storage is a mess like every chest is full Uh, but it's nice and quaint uh, and okay so this is that's an empty villager house that's another empty villager house but this is my friend's house uh, originally it was a, a modded village structure part of the iron spells and spells books but after after we moved in uh, I, I I changed the block palette for them their clouds are windows no what their windows are clouds which have a weird x-ray thing going on for them which is the clouds are part of the the inventory pits of course and yeah I think that I think their house looks a little cooler than mine <laughs> I think there's a pit cloud up there somewhere. Yeah. Uh and that's that that's um part of the Airloons RPG which I think is still in beta for for most I can hmm, not sure. Also waystones. Uh this is a fountain I made. Uh I think it's pretty cool. It was just a simple idea I had to make that. That's the train station. Uh, and then those are those two things are my factories. That's part of the heirloom. I would have removed those, but you can't break structures. Uh, so also quite a few structures are actually entities, so it makes it a little tricky. So this is this is just lava storage I never actually used this before I moved on from this world but there are all the buckets I was using to pick up lava uh, this is this is my main factory I have like three things that used to be a press and I made tracks my tracks with that for the train uh, but but I changed it so I could make some precision machinery that I never ended up using. 
uh, originally <laughs> it was much more poorly designed because the whole thing ran based on the hand crank so you, so I had to, you may notice that my hunger is at zero I, I just used to stand there cranking the handle uh, okay that's that's that I like that a lot the steam engines are very fun to use uh, and then that's just another empty house my mine is is under here it's it's down there that's the way to my mine and I'll show you this. Th th I thought that was this was a pretty cool, pretty cool beginning invention, beginning create thing. So I put uh, encased chain drives in the wall that are spinning based on the water wheels back there. So I could just hook up these blocks and have them have them like running, and I thought that was pretty cool. And uh, I also <laughs> added, I added this quite a quite a bit more recently. Originally, it was it was the depot, depot, depot that these were attached to. But I decided it would be nicer to automate it a little. And then the crushers, very painful to fall inside of. There's my little blaze. I, had, I made a lot of brass. <laughs> and uh, I think that's that's basically that's basically it. Before the train, of course. I never built uh, any farms, any automatic farms with the create. So there's a bunch of things in in regards to create that I haven't tried that I'm gonna probably try in the new world. I might even show some, some videos from the new world. Anyway, this is this is my train. Blue guy tester. I made a whole a whole loop. This was like one of the last things I did before the end of the world. Uh and Oh, right, I should tell you about my ears. So, oh, huh, <laughs> I didn't know I got a conductor's hat. Uh, so, control M. Oh, hold on, I think my keybinds might be messed up. Uh. You can see I've I've made some some armor things f with the with the uh, the armorer armorer's workshop mod, which I I mainly edited to this world so I could test how survival friendly it is, and it's it's relatively survival friendly if you have a cloud pit. <laughs> And uh yeah, I made the ears the little the little briefcase back there and a, a little crab from the sky. And yeah. Uh so that's that's uh also there's there's one mod that I didn't really a main mod that changes world generation and adds mods. Uh, 90s editions, I think. I'm not sure what they call it exactly on the on Curse Forge, uh, but it <laughs> it spawns a lot of uh, priders, which is a very very hardy mob. 
it has a lot of health. So, there's one spell that I managed to get in this world that I, wa I want to get in the next world too. Which is this one. I'll just cast it so you can see it properly. A black hole! Yeah, it's, it drags the priders up there and they, they still survive. Like one prider... One prider managed to survive like four black holes and we were hitting it with other things too. Like the ender dragon, I only got the chance to use one black hole on it because the black hole did like half of its health and I was able to kill it easily with with uh, with my other spells, which I have quite a few of. Uh, and yeah, that's that's it. Just a sort of sort of visual diary. Might tell a might tell a interesting story. When we started this this world, uh, this was actually our second attempt with all the mod packs, because the first the first seed had us like on islands where with like nothing cool to be found. So we so we changed changed the world. And uh, and then this one was like uh, we were immediately attacked when we spawned in <laughs> uh, by Appalents, which I believe are part of the Airloon rather than the Ninety. I think I think the Appalents are Airloon, and my head is backward. No, I'm backwards. <laughs> and the Appalance <laughs> killed us a few times. Uh, but yeah. Then then we ran out here, like very far away. This is like I think five hundred blocks away from spawn. Or something like that. Oops, I missed the station. Nope, 1,000 blocks from spawn. Oh, that's, that's the world. Very nice world. I like it a lot. I hope I'll I hope I'll make even cooler stuff stuff in the next world. Bye. Bye.